Young people go through embarrassing temporary phases. A girl becomes obsessed with Justin Bieber. For a boy, it might be pogs or pro soccer. In my case, I collected <laughs> unicorn figurines made of driftwood. If you belong to PETA or Greenpeace, it's because you were young and bored. Then you got a job, got married, had kids, and that superficial stuff fades away. But what about phases that stain your life forever? Something you got into that you can never simply live down. If you're into in sync, you can always get out of in sync. The weather <laughs> underground, the Manson family, that stuff sticks. Just as bad supporting the Muslim bomber at the Boston courthouse. Check out these ghouls. Terrible. We're here to uh, show Jahar some support. Let him know he does have people out there that um, believe in him and that he didn't do this. There's so much, so much information out there that proves that they did not do this. So I would love for him to plead not guilty and make them prove their case because there's just it's impossible for them to do that. They fabricated this case. He has a right to live his life. Let him live his life. He's only 19 years old. Give Jahar back his Give back life. His just feed up. He's in. Justice. Justice. We're just trying to get to the truth. If you really cared about the victims, you would be more interested in the truth instead of what's convenient to believe. Bigotry is not evidence. Screaming. Oh, God, help them. <laughs> help us. If you are one of them and you're listening to me, you need to know this. What you're doing is more than a flight of fancy. It's indicative of your future, your state of mind, of who you are and who you will be. In sum, you are psychologically broken, perhaps permanently. You are untreatable and lost. You can stop your madness now and walk away, and maybe you won't leave too big a scar on the rest of your life. But my gut tells me the choice you made is the path you chose forever. You're self-involved in your nuts. Yeah. And yeah. so unable to acknowledge evil, or worse, you acknowledge evil and you still like it, because he's 18. That guarantees a life of misery for the people who know you. So yeah. do them a favor. Take up something risky, like really, really hard drugs, because the less of you around, the better. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody take over. <laughs> I, I yes. Throw, throw, throw yeah. in there. The Feel Boston dirty. bomb, the people who say the Boston bomb are always here. Just let, he's 19, just <laughs> let him live his life. Are the same ones who think Aaron Hernandez is hot and yes. want to marry him, are the same ones who want to marry people in jail. But there's another group, and I think they all fall into the same category of people with character flaws. The 9-11 truthers. Yeah. The ones who say, oh, the government did it. It was our government. Yeah. Bush trying to get us into a war, whatever. They're all the same. They have pity for for the, the for the for the filth of the world. They have the, the the guys talk about false flag because they heard that on the radio. It's just a stupid phrase. And then you have women who are looking for the soul. Dana, what is wrong with these people? Are they just mutants? I think oh, they're, they're they are disgusting. I loved your monologue. I wonder if those people would believe anything that they read in the New York Times. Mm -hmm. Poss probably, right? So front page New York Times today, I read this article with great interest today. Bombing suspect is seen as linked to, to, the, to the 2011 slayings of his friend. Yeah. Um, and so look, this is, if, I'm not saying to take the Boston Marathon off the table for these people. These people are nuts, as you said. <laughs> but, the, but the New York Times article is very chilling to me. Mm -hmm. Because it, if you, as they've looked back, and I understand that hindsight is 2020. But the FBI and the cops were on the trail of these guys. Yeah. And there were lots of different clues that could have helped prevent this uh, horrible terrorist attack from happening. Yeah. And I can't, I just, it seems to me that in some ways people just moved on so quickly and we we're like obsessed with the Zimmerman trial. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we have people who are plotting to kill us and we're missing them. Yeah. And then have people defending them. It's disgusting. I, Bob, what would happen if you ran into these people on the street? <laughs> Well, uh, I, I've been picked up a few times for violent behavior, um, <laughs> and I think it probably would have been one more. Yes. Uh, my, I, I just felt, look, these people want to get on television. That's one of the things they're doing. And why TV cameras can not even give them any time? And the, and the fact that these poor victims, uh, parent, relatives, walk by these people. Absolutely. I mean, where is, where is your decency? Terrible. I mean, c come on. But you're, you are punks. And, you know, frankly, what you deserve to do is get your head bashed into, a, into, yeah, but... a, into cement, and then maybe you two could go to trial. Oh, yeah, but, you know, the, the oh. interesting point, KG, because you are the legal mind. If these people... I prefer I'm, guru. Yeah, you're the legal yeah. guru. Uh, or czar. You, yeah, you can't spell guru without you. And, uh, <laughs> and, and R. You. And you. And uh, G. Anyway, the, these, okay, so imagine survivors and their relatives are walking by uh, and these people are there. Uh, what, isn't, shouldn't there be a law that says it's okay for you to punch them in the face? 
Shouldn't well, there be a lot? I can't answer yes to that, although emotionally <laughs> I want to. I'm trying to hold it back. Yeah, I find it to be so offensive. Uh, you know, I, yes, they have their freedom of speech, unfortunately, in this case, but we do have that in this country. But, I mean, there's just uh, evidence that people are walking around filled with evil and lobotomized. You know, you know just really, Kimberly, there was a, mad. I'm sorry. There was a case in Florida where they they ordered the courts ordered people who were doing crap like this right to lifers away from a certain distance. A certain back. distance back. Maybe right. that's the case. Those here. are, in fact, great point, Bob, because that's called a reasonable restriction under they the should, law. So where you can still exercise your First Amendment right, but in the water, have them. them in the bay. What, what was that group? The uh, Baptist Church. Westboro right? Baptist, Westboro Baptist, Baptist Church. Church. Same, same thing. Yeah. Oh, right. No, the, yeah, well, they're they're truly offensive as well. It's just sad. But I mean, if they, you know, they're so against this country and we have so many problems here again. Please also, leave. their intelligence level is so low that it's almost like they could win the Darwin Award. Mm -hmm. Who's Maybe that? Maybe they should. I'm kidding. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. They're like amoebas.